U.S. diplomatic concerns are being raised tonight after Taiwan's president reached out to President-elect Donald Trump. Their phone conversation could risk angering China. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on why a simple phone call is drawing mm. so much reaction tonight, Dave. You know, almost anything Donald Trump does these days, people are wondering, well, what does it mean? What's going to happen now? Right on cue within the hour, we got the first reaction from China to the Trump-Taiwan phone call. The Chinese foreign minister says he hopes his country's relations with the U.S. won't be interfered with or damaged by the call, since he says the one China policy is the cornerstone of U.S.-China relations. When the first woman president of Taiwan called President-elect Donald Trump on Friday and he took the call, the U.S. diplomatic world was rocked. It was the first known contact between an American president or president-elect with a Taiwanese leader since the U.S. broke diplomatic relations with Taiwan. That was in 1979. And it touched off alarm bells among many observers, like former U.S. ambassador to South Korea Christopher Hill, who told CNN CNN about his concerns. Uh, one worries, however, uh, certainly listening to some of the people on the in the Trump uh, transition side, that uh, they feel this is the way to change a policy that's been around for 40 years. And you know, Ronald Reagan adhered to this policy. George W. Bush adhered to it. Everyone adhered to it. On Friday evening, President-elect Trump tweeted out about the phone call. The president of Taiwan called me today to wish me congratulations. He wrote on winning the presidency. Thank you. Trump's transition team said the discussion focused on the close economic, political, and security ties between Taiwan and the United States. But the question is, how will China react to the phone call? The Chinese leadership will see it as an important break. And for their own domestic political consumption, they are going to want to send a strong and unmistakable message that this is unacceptable. Professor Clayton Duby is the director of the USC US China Institute. He says the stakes are very high for any change in that relationship. The US China relationship is, without question, America's most important bilater bilateral relationship. We do an enormous amount of business with China. We are dealing with China in addition on key third party issues such as nuclear weapons proliferation. And that's why the attention we are giving to a 10 minute phone call between the president elect and the president of Taiwan is warranted. Fueling China's fears or anger about changing U.S. policy are some of the things candidate Trump said about China during his presidential campaign. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. Trump transition senior advisor Kellyanne Conway told CNN's Anderson Cooper that Trump's intentions are not to be setting policy before he even takes office. We're happy to schedule the calls, that there's proper briefing, and so far they've just gone really well in terms of dozens and dozens of phone calls and, 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 and a few meetings with world leaders, but not trying to make policy and not trying to make waves um, until he's actually the president in six and a half weeks. The questions about Trump's Taiwan phone call come at a time when there were already some concerns about things Trump has said to other world leaders that could signal major shifts in policy. This week, White House Press Secretary Josh true. Earnest advised working in conjunction with the State Department. I'm confident that as uh, President-elect Trump takes office, uh, those same uh, State Department employees will stand ready to offer him uh, advice. Hopefully he will, uh, hopefully he'll take it. Well, adding fuel to the fire, the Trump-Taiwan phone conversation comes at a time when tensions are rising between China and Taiwan. This year, voters in Taiwan elected Tsai Ing-wen, a result that angered China, which then cut off all official communication with the island. Lena?